Hi, so today in Frack Tracker in the Field so far, we've seen a lot of examples of dirty energy infrastructure, but now we want to look at a positive example where clean energy is working and it's serving as an example of what's possible in this region of Pennsylvania that's been historically dominated by fossil fuels. So we're here in Vanport Township, Beaver County, where there's a large solar array 1.3 megawatts that at the time it was constructed in 2012 was the largest solar installation in western Pennsylvania and it's an on-site system that powers the Eaton Corporation here which is a power management company that creates electrical components um, some of which go into solar installations all across the country and this plant employs around 370 people um, and it's getting around 15 to 20 percent of its electrical usage from this installation. In May 2021, the Pennsylvania Solar Center awarded four businesses and organizations in Beaver County with its Lodestar Award, including this Eaton site, and the award was in recognition of its leadership in solar energy in the region. The Solar Center is funded by the nonprofit New Sun Rising, and it helps businesses and organizations to go solar in Pennsylvania. It's really important to have support like this, especially because the oil and gas industry has worked so hard to create misconceptions around renewable energies and the need for fossil fuels. All across the country, but especially here in the Marcellus Shale region, the industry frames fracking as necessary for energy to heat our homes and generate domestic electricity. In reality, renewable energy is now cheaper to produce than fracked gas, and gas is often exported or converted into other products like plastic. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, over 3% of U.S. electricity currently comes from solar energy. They estimate that PV panels on just 22,000 square miles of the nation's total land area, or about the size of Lake Michigan, could supply enough electricity to power the entire United States. Solar panels can also be installed on rooftops with essentially no land use impacts, and it's projected that more than one in seven U.S. homes will have a rooftop solar PV system by 2030. A lot of people question whether solar energy can work in an area like Pennsylvania where it tends to be cloudy, um, but actually a solar array like this could produce about 80% of what uh, would be produced in a really sunny area like Florida and households have relatively good access to solar in this region. There's accessible financing that households can opt into, pay off their solar um, installation as if they were paying their regular electricity bill, and then eventually have free energy from that system. According to the Pennsylvania Solar Center, the Alternative Energy Portfolio Standards was passed in 2004 and set a goal of 8% renewable energy with 0.5 coming from solar by May 2021. The electric distribution companies and electric generation suppliers are obligated to meet these goals through the purchase of alternative energy credits or known as renewable credits or solar renewable credits, RECs or SRECs. The overall goals are woefully out of date and low compared to most neighboring states that have goals of 50% or more. This policy drives the price of RECs and SRECs and since the goal has been met and exceeded, the ESRIC price is quite low. Increasing the goals would increase investment into solar energy because it would likely increase the price of the ESRIC for the next several years. There are several bills in the PA General Assembly that would raise that goal.